Welcome to the Fall 2023 induction of the O'Neill School Chapter of the National Honor Society. In 1921, the National Association of Secondary School Principals established the National Honor Society. The organization grew from the original Alpha Chapter to 13,553 members by the turn of the century. Four main purposes have guided NHS chapters from the beginning. To create enthusiasm for scholarship, to stimulate a desire to, re to render service, to promote leadership, and to develop character in the students of secondary schools. O'Neill's chapter was chartered in August of 2000. According to a formula often cited by former O'Neill teacher and administrator, Alice Robbins, character is who you are and what you do when no one is watching. A person of character is defined by a rich combination of respect, fairness, honesty, and courtesy. Not pretending to be perfect, an honorable student accepts criticism graciously and resolves to learn from past mistakes. Service entails actions undertaken on behalf of others without any material compensation to the individual performing the service. The National Honor Society values the contributions a student makes to school, classmates, and community, as well as the student's attitude towards service. More significant than the total number of hours recorded is a genuine spirit of generosity. Many Honor Society members also display leadership within student organizations. Others demonstrate the qualities of leadership, responsibility, motivation, initiative, and organization in their various activities throughout the school. Whether in classrooms or athletic fields, such students both exemplify positive attitudes uh, themselves and inspire positive behavior in others. Students demonstrate excellence in scholarship when they achieve a main and maintain a weighted grade point average of 3.6 on a 4.0 scale. Beyond these numerical considerations, scholarship entails a spirit of inquiry and critical thinking that seeks to relate the knowledge of the classroom and insight into our daily lives. Today's guest speaker is Ms. Mariah. She's the head of middle school and assistant head of school. Prior to her current role, Mrs. Walters taught middle school and upper school math and served as middle school dean at the O'Neill School. Additionally, Mrs. Walters has taught math at three other schools. Beyond the classroom, she has been a Courage League advisor, has coached soccer and basketball, and has served on accreditation and planning committees. Mrs. Walters earned her bachelor's degree in mathematics, secondary education mathematics, and a minor in theology from Concordia University, Wisconsin and her master's degree in educational leadership from Manhattan Hill College. Please welcome Mrs. Walters. Thank you for the honor of sharing some thoughts with you this morning. I am thrilled for this opportunity to celebrate and highlight a remarkable moment for our new National Honor Society members. As I explore the history of the National Honor Society, I discovered the roots of the National Honor Society were founded in 1921 by Dr. Edward Renierson, principal of Fifth Avenue High School in Pencil Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. As a Pittsburgh native, I found it interesting to read about Dr. Renierson and his vision to develop an opportunity to connect and elevate the academic student experience of high school students. I was immediately drawn to the connections between the original vision and development of the National Honor Society to each of you, our O'Neill Upper School students. Acceptance into the National Honor Society is not solely based on grade point average and academic accomplishment. It encompasses a foundation of all four pillars to truly set apart a distinguished cohort of students. I wish to spend some time exploring each of the four pillars of scholarship, service, leadership, and character. You undoubtedly have earned exemplary grades and have exceeded scholarly expectations. Some of you have created new clubs and expanded course offerings to meet your passions, 
and to elevate the level of study surrounding a content area or topic. You have shown a dedication to learning and growing in knowledge and understanding far beyond the four walls of a classroom. You have made a commitment to learning for the joy of learning something new, not for a grade or for an accomplishment of a mark. You have displayed the pillar of scholarship and motivate yourselves and those around you to foster the love of learning. Your commitment to service is ingrained in so much of what you do as an O'Neill student. Many of you serve our school community and greater Sand Hills community through your efforts in ONV and Key Club. Whether it be attending weekend building projects, collecting items for local food banks and shelters, spreading information and advocacy, or by supporting on-campus community efforts by planning and organizing events for our lower school friends and families. Others of you embrace less structured opportunities to dedicate yourselves to serving others. You choose to serve others by welcoming a new student. You take time to support a struggling classmate or to work through a math problem with an underclassman. You build rapport and collaborate with a teacher to share something new or to ignite a passion project for others in our community and beyond. These opportunities require you to step outside of yourself and perhaps outside of your comfort zone to serve others and to offer your gifts and talents in support of the greater community for the greater good. Your choice to live lives of service supports and strengthens our community. Leadership is a foundational principle of our student experience at O'Neill. Our school affords the opportunity for you to share your voice and to lead others in a myriad of ways. Many of you are part of our leadership program, serve as team captains, as officers on student forum or the honor council, others lead and organize clubs. All of these roles allow you to share your experiences and to motivate and unite others around you around common missions and goals to the betterment of those around you. Your ability to guide classmates and to influence decisions and experiences within your school experience are skills that will continue to set you apart and to elevate your ability to affect change. An anchor to the principles we have discussed is that of character. Your ability to make choices and to conduct yourselves in a manner that is honorable and just is paramount in consideration for induction into the National Honor Society. Character is displayed outwardly by showcasing who you are on the inside. Your strength in being true to who you are, grounded in principles like those mentioned in O'Neill's mission statement, integrity, self-discipline, and consideration for others are essential for achieving academic and personal excellence. Over 100 years ago, Dr. Edward Renerson had a vision for ensuring students had the opportunity to be celebrated and to be honored for striking a balance between those with academic achievement and those with deeply rooted foundations in scholarship, service, leadership, and character. The interconnectedness of all four pillars reminds me of a quote by Martin Luther King Jr. Quote, the function of education is to teach one to think intensively and think critically. Intelligence plus character, that is the goal of a true education. Today at the O'Neill School, we are honored and excited to welcome new National Honor Society inductees who have committed themselves to consistent and earnest growth as individuals. We wish you well, celebrate with you today, and look forward to all that we will see you accomplish in the days ahead. Ms. Walters. I ask that the current and new members stand while I call forward each of the new members. Each new member will sign the official registry and then return to his or her seat. Please hold your applause until the all members have been called. <coughs> From the senior class, Brennan Hodges.
Olivia Maxwell. Quinn Mitchell. And Owen Williams. And from the junior class, Noah Bass. Amy Batterjee. Charlie Bunder. Jana Cavanis. Kaylee Crow. Catherine Fensterly. Abby Jones. Morgan Lewis. Jack Manning. Campbell Medford. Charlotte Mills. Max Pashley. Andrew Pavlovich. Carson Pusser. Jake Shepard.
Michelle Stone. Ava Taylor Walker. and Chris Walters. All current National Honor Society members and new inductees, please stay standing and repeat after me to recite our pledge. I pledge myself to uphold, I pledge myself to uphold. the high purposes of the National Honor Society for which I have been selected. I will be true to the principles for which it stands. I will be loyal to my school. I will be loyal to my school. And I will maintain and encourage, maintain and encourage high standards of scholarship. High standards of scholarship. Service. Service. Leadership. Leadership. And character. And character. Thank you. of the National Honor Society. Thank you very much for joining us. New inductees and their parents are cordially invited to a reception outside in the atrium. Thank you guys. Thank you all for being here this morning. You are dismissed.